All right, now. What's up, world? Now, we're going to go and we're going to listen to Mermaid Prophetess. You know what I'm saying? I just turned it on. You know, she was going so good the first 30 seconds. 10 seconds, I said, let me turn her on, you know. Because, you know, I need the Ford dealership. You know what I'm saying? Ford Motor. Ford Motors. You know what I'm saying? Ford Motor Company. Need to talk to you. This God, you know what I'm saying? This Adam, you know what I'm saying? A T O M. And the A D A M with me, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we got some serious business to talk to you. Because I got a couple of trucks I need to get made a male and female truck. Big boy, big girl truck. And then I got a few cars on my mind. Hollywood ceiling, you know what I'm saying? In them, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm going to be doing business with you, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm going to turn profit and song, you know, mermaid profit and song, let y'all hear. Because this not just my, you know, uh, what's the word for it, daddy? It's not just me being liberated. It's the whole world being liberated. Ain't nobody going to hold y'all down no more. It ain't no family that can lie on and lie on they family mentally like they sick or something, misdiagnosing them with bullshit like my, my old mother-in-law, the doctor, Dr. Wayne, misdiagnosed her 22 years with diabetes like Tawana. 22 years diagnosed with diabetes, taking diabetes medicine. And then when she died, full-blown cancer the whole 22 years. No apology, no lawsuit, nothing. But when I mentioned it, they took it as I was a threat. That's why me and my old father-in-law was blackballed from Philip 66. But we knew too much about the communities we lived in. You know what I'm saying? Come on, sweetheart. Ain't no binding us up. It's God. Hey, Collective. It's your girl, Mermaid Prophetess, bringing you another Collective reading. Let's see what's going on, my beautiful divine feminists, my beautiful divine masculines. Let's see what's going on with the Collective energy today. Okay. So, we have... A child eternal and a victim in reverse. Oh, divine feminine. This is telling me that uh, you are a victim no more. Okay? This is like people trying to, you could be a divine feminine or a divine masculine. Okay? Flip the rules as it makes sense for your situation. People trying to victimize you, comfort you, punish you, punish you. Um, based off of their own uh, actions, Divine Feminine, you could have encountered sociopaths, narcissists, Divine Feminine. This is like uh, people who refuse to take accountability, projecting their issues onto you, trying to keep you in a victim status, wanting to oppress you, Divine Feminine, wanting to uh, come for your physical security security, you are no longer a victim. It's like some you hear that TDJ? She said, I'm no longer a victim. I ain't no victim no more. Especially to no chairman of mental health that priest the sermon talking about. If you want to kill God and the children of God, if the devil want to uh, kill God and the children of God, what the first thing he do? And then you said, he would attack his mind. And then after I died, what you say? They didn't kill the firstborn son. They didn't kill the firstborn son. Where my money? Where my money? We ain't come to raise the dead. I sabotage you, Adam. Saying my name like it's nasty, Adam. I sabotage you. And I could have helped you. 
but I wanted you to lose your opinion. I know I was messing up church shit, you know what I'm saying? But I was telling the truth, TDJ. And I had to, man. I had to. And I ain't gonna come back another thousand years with no bullshit. If it was against God this time, it ain't gonna be for God the next time. So, I'm gonna remember that. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for being honest with me. What you meant for evil really became good for the kingdom of God and the children of God. That you scattered when you struck me, the ship, and scattered my sheep and I had to take them with me, inside me, now. Somebody could have tried to like keep you in a victim status. I don't know why I want to say maintain you in a victim status. They cannot maintain this. Whatever hope, whoever this is, feels like they have on you, divine feminine, you are free from this. You are not a victim to this. Somebody is begging for something here now. Okay, come through, spirit. Okay? I've been pulling on that energy lately where it's like, my collective, you are being free. You are coming out of this set. It will be no more. No more of what this person did to you, what somebody did. You are coming out of this. You are you are relieved. You are relieved. Come through. Okay. Somebody Divine Feminine, first of all, with this martyr energy showing up first. You could have tried to save somebody here, Divine Feminine. You could have a tendency of trying to save uh, people that sabotage themselves. You could have been trying to save a Divine Masculine. You could just throughout your lifetime has tried to save people with this martyr energy. Trying to make things right. Trying to fix things for people. Trying to fix people who rebel against their higher self. You could have been trying to save this masculine. And it's like divine feminine. It's like trying to save this masculine or save this situation. It could have turned you. Like you could have started turning into a victim. Because this masculine. For some of you divine feminine. This masculine could have victimized you. Or this masculine could have been attached to karmic to victimize you by, by way of him. This could be a, a masculine who is addicted to self-pity. So this masculine doesn't uh, take accountability for... This could be a masculine that uh, refused to take accountability for putting the vibe feminine in a position to be a victim. Or where these uh, people could victimize you, the vibe feminine. Okay. And you know this one thing that you know I'm sorry to bring this up because I be feeling like that I'm saying family business, but I'm really not. You know, I I supposed to do income tax every year. I really don't get into income tax, you know, I really don't do that. I'm trying to get rid of it. But since I do pay for stuff, you know, I get twenty five hundred dollars a week every month. Every month all I keep is two fifty. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I used to get a hundred and fifty two. VA, but you know, I don't really get that at all no more, so I throw that over there. But, um, the $2,500, I'm supposed to do my taxes, so I just want God to allow me to do my taxes the right way. And when you go to church and you pay tithes and offering, you're supposed to report it on your taxes that you gave tithes and offering. And they supposed to honor that at the church. So when you give your whole $2,500 anywhere, you supposed to be able to write that off on your taxes that you gave your whole $2,500 somewhere. And then it ain't, I really don't give a damn what the people do with the money. That ain't something I worry about. I just get it because they ask for it. So if it cost me $2,500 to live somewhere that I need to put on my taxes, then it cost me $2,500 to live where I live. I ain't got no dependence, just me. But my dependence is everybody 
that listen to my stuff and telepathically eternally living off me and breathing off me God so they're my dependent everybody who breathe air cause that's who I am Adam is real remember I'm the air you breathe so everybody breathing everybody heart beating everybody that's getting love you ain't gotta love nobody you just if you receive love from anybody anybody you receive it from me god so my dependence that i carry that i'm on file is eight billion times ten generations of eternally living ancestors pops ghosts my holy spirit that's the life of god the air we breathe and the people who breathe us. So that's my dependent. And I get $2,500 to each one of them. So $2,500 times eight, eight, million, 8 billion times 10 generations. That's what I'll accept from the government. And that's all, like I said, I ain't no victim, no. I'm God. And I ain't no victims, really. Because God said, you have inherited all things. Just like me, I inherited all things. I'm going to write it off on my taxes. And I get $2,500 to 8 billion people times 10 generations. That's how many years I've been doing it. And every year, that's how I'm going to report it. That I do it. That's how many people breathing. And that's how many people that I use to be my fresh air. And I don't expect nobody to be judging and accusing, blaspheming, you know, murmuring and complaining no more. That's Jude 114. You know what I'm saying? Enoch 7 from Adam prophesied that the Lord was coming with 10,000 saints. And that's me, Adam. Not no Jesus. But Adam, Jesus here with me because Jesus prayed to me and asked me to save him. He said, Holy Father, Adam, keep through your name, not mine. Because remember, they going to hate you because they hated me first and they hate everybody that going to come in you when you come for us and it's say. You know what I'm saying? In 1 Corinthians 15, 24. And now, he, which is Jesus, shall have delivered up the kingdom to God. And I'm just going to say gave me the kingdom because deliver, that's taking life out of love and shit like that. That's witchcraft. So, you know, I have given, you know what I'm saying, Everything back to God, this is Jesus. Even the Father Adam. I gave him all his power, strength, and everything back. Because he must reign. Not me, this little Jesus. A son of the son. <laughs> the big son. So, big son ain't your big brother. That's your heavenly father. You know what I'm saying? Because the son is God. You know what I'm saying? Every star is God. You know what I'm saying? And the moon, God. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, that's how I'm gonna file my taxes. You know what I'm saying? Since y'all still kill and destroy, I'm gonna do it right. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, $2,500 per person, eight billion people. That's how many I got, plus 10 generations. Times 10 generations, multiplied by 10 generations. Not plus, but multiplied by. So thank you. And I'm not a victim. Thank you, sweetheart, for telling me that. So they can hear the FBI, the law enforcement, and they can be good law enforcement if they don't want to get cursed by God in the kingdom of God for embarrassing her. 
they need to go to the potter's house and get that motherfucker out of the goddamn office. You know what I'm saying? And tell him he no longer have a job with God. Lying, cheating, and stealing. From day one, I asked him, will a man rob God? And they say, where have we robbed him? In tithes and all. Even this whole nation. You know what I'm saying? You are cursed with a curse. You know what I'm saying? And that's just God's word, the truth. But we ain't no victim no more. They are. Somebody's begging for something behind the scenes. Whoever you see that was in this Avenger energy, this came out. I think it either was in my last reading or the reading before that. One of the last three readings. So this could be connected because it definitely feels like that. This Avenger card talks about resorting to violence in the name of a cause. Somebody who tried to commit <coughs> a very aggressive act against the divine family. This is somebody who rebels against uh, this union or something like that. Somebody is secretly with this hermit energy. Um, this hermit energy talks about withdrawals from society out of fears or negative judgments of others refusing to help those in need okay and we have this beggar energy so divine feminine this is almost like um, this beggar energy talks about looking for empowerment for physical survival somebody is secretly in pain looking for help whoever this person is this is somebody who tried to bully you this is somebody who tried to make you their victim okay come through spirit look at that look at that this avenger is a shame now this person is behind the scenes hurting in pain there would be a divine masculine that's behind the scenes you give your all for us. You deserve the best. Recovery Unplugged is proud to announce that we are now in network with TRICARE to serve uniformed service members and their families. Recovery Unplugged provides virtual treatment for substance abuse as well as mental health care services. Man, hold on. In pain. Man, stop, stop offering mental health services. I almost call you an MF for that. Stop offering mental health. There ain't nothing wrong with none of God's people. None of God's people. Ain't nothing wrong with us. Ain't nothing wrong with us. We ain't got no mental health. Y'all do. Y'all trying to kill us. That's genocide what you're trying to do. White man. So stop making commercials about you doing health care for us. We don't trust your medicine. It ain't loyal. It's killing us. We don't want your help at all. We need doctors to be on our side though. And we need law enforcement to be on our side. But we do not need no insurance. Lying ass insurance. No goodness well, you ain't never paid nobody right. And ain't nobody ever got no fair deal from no damn insurance. So all that auto insurance and that home health insurance you offering. And don't offer nobody no mental health no more. This God is you going to be cursed would occur forever and dying I don't even want to see y'all ass no more lying ass and we don't need no $6,400 or no $16,800 from no lying ass government God is not no God that offer an inheritance that'll bring a few thousand dollars you see eternal life forever add a breathe is forever I don't cheat you don't cheat me and my children. It's God. Come through. Mm. Somebody's hiding that they need help. Real bad. I feel like this Avenger needs help. And this masculine. This masculine could be pulling away from whoever this karmic energy is. This could be somebody who wants to commit violence against you, divine feminine. This person is begging for help and this masculine. There are beggars behind the scenes here. These are people who uh, made you their victim at one point or tried to make you a victim to their crime. 
rhymes or something like that. You got them oh, preachers. That's who she talking about. Preachers and jobs and everybody who's insurance scams and all that shit. Anytime you got insurance, that's a scam. That's a scam. We don't need y'all goddamn money. Shit, God gave us everything. We inherited everything last time. So we should be eternally living off of everything God gave us and not having to pay y'all shit. We got spiritual no damn insurance. Don't you don't pay insurance to get no Somebody damn government incentive of twelve hundred dollars when God said he's gonna get fifty eight million and two thousand dollars a week. Yeah, we have this zombie energy. This zombie energy, and I, my eyes went straight for that martyr card. Divine Feminine, you could have felt like this divine medicine was a zombie. Trying to please somebody here with this martyr energy. I know why I'm here do it for the team or something like that. Good. Someone could have been wrong with this masculine eyes. We have somebody worked really hard to cause confusion, but that is over. You solved the case and you got the truth. This is in reverse. Okay, so whoever, okay, so this is my man. In this zombie image, okay, divine feminine, like this, this man's with eyes could have just been gone. You could have just felt like his consciousness wasn't even there. With the zombie energy and um, my card that talks about um, confusion, something that was confusing being solved, but this is in reverse. Divine feminine, this man's it, it's like either he refused to believe what was going on, even with it right in his face, or this masculine was in some kind of trance, okay? What in the world? Yeah, this, this masculine, it's like he couldn't, I mean, he couldn't figure this out. You could have told this masculine the truth about something here, but with this zombie energy, this con this uh, but, uh, solving the case of confusion being in reverse and martyr, somebody was begging this masculine to do something, and this masculine is like, he didn't even wrap his head around why this person was begging this masculine to do something. It could have been begging this masculine to isolate from me. is a perpetual victim. Okay, beggar energy. What's going on? I'm telling you, somebody is begging here. Whoever this person is that's begging, this is somebody that wanted to take your, uh, like, take away your ability to meet your goal. This is somebody who had a lot of envy for you, Divine Feminine. We have make your own magic. You reach all your goals. They can't stop your shine. You got this. Okay. Let's see. Who is this Carmen Beggar? Okay. The devil. Something spirit. Capricorn energy. What is this? We have the occult. Casting spells to get what they want. Mixing ish. They don't understand. Okay. Country. That's why I've seen when the cards came out all chaotic. Something was chaotic here. They, they didn't know what they were doing. There is like a, a, a devil occultist here. Literally. This part, we are clarifying back. This person might have been doing zombie magic or something like that, that. confusion spells, or Bobby creating a hell load of manipulation. We got the devil and an occultist in reverse begging. This is a backfire. Period. This did not work out okay at all. This is a karmic, very low vibrational energy. This person is begging for help. They're literally, we're literally clarifying begging. We got the devil and we got the cultist that's casting. As a small business owner, you're juggling the job of five people. Using constant contact, smart automated tools, it's like having a team. Spells to get what they want. Somebody wanted something really bad and they needed this divine masculine to be seriously confused. You gotta understand, we got two mindless cards, senseless cards here, okay? 
They wanted this masculine to be a martyr for their cause. They didn't care about sacrifice. This is somebody who could be sacrificing this divine masculine. He had to be in this zombie energy. He had to be unable to solve the case. To so they, it, it could have been, there could even be a case. There'd be crimes committed against him. But they did not want this man to crack the code. This man was in his life. It, it was like, if I'm feeling, you could have felt like this man was out of his mind. Because something could have been right in front of him, clear as day. But because of his own energy, and a lot of this manipulation, I mean, we even got still work. That this mansion was susceptible to. This person, this occultist, this karmic beggar, is facing a backfire. And they don't know what to do. When I tell you they don't know what to do, look at this. Look at how she's covering her face. This person is embarrassed. They don't know what to do. When I tell you a backfire, backfire. This is somebody who's whipping something up. A karmic beggar. Okay. This is somebody who definitely didn't want you to reach any of your goals. In love, in your professional life, in your family life. We got a hermit. There are people isolating here. That's a divine message. Could be a serious pain. Somebody's heart is bleeding. Divine feminine. Your heart could have been bleeding here. That could have been a, um, an act of violence here as well. With this Avenger card next to this Hermit card. There could be people physically fighting behind us. Hey, you know, uh, I'm going to get off this thing, but uh, thank you, sweetheart. And thank you, world. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, uh, heaven and earth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's for God. You know what I'm saying? All the security and, you know, all the, you know, everything that's for God in the kingdom of God. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, thank you to the people who stirred me up today. I need to be woke up. And I need to tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I can't be fussing at y'all because I ain't got nothing if I ain't trying to get me nothing. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not doing my job and on this thing and I'm breathing for y'all and the air y'all breathe 24 hours a day, I'm not doing my job. But I'm doing my job. So forward dealership. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get me a Alpha and Omega 650. I want to get that made. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all going to design a big motor or nothing, but I really don't care to get no 650 motor, you know, like them, you know, work trucks, you know, 650s in it. I don't want no big 650 motor. All I want is the normal uh, Ford 450 motor. And you could put a chip in it for a little speed or power. And then... You know, I want a Hollywood in it, but then you don't have to put the Hollywood in it right away till we get that designed in all that. But, you know, just make a regular 450, F450, and just change the letters and make it a Alpha and Omega 650 instead of the Ford F450. Make it Alpha and Omega 650. Just change the letters, just like the bank. You know what I'm saying? Instead of bank, from now on, we call pecs. You know what I'm saying? He and peck is loving, you know, people. So, you know, the name of the bank is pecs. Bank. Banks are pecs. It ain't peck. Bank is just pecs for banks, to replace banks. Because, you know, we, what happened with First Aid Bank? You know, heaven and earth, you know, both of us embarrassed. Shame. How they let that devil woman come in there. And just because her name was put on my truck, she was able to come steal it back from me and sell it to whoever she choose or give it to whoever she choose and add shit to the note of it and expect me to pay her note and mine. That's what I didn't want to do. And if God forgive me, and let her forgive me. And Lord, forgive her 
for thinking she can get over on God. You know what I'm saying? If she got mad, cause I wasn't gonna pay her note and mine and let her add shit to my note just cause it's in her name. So, however you wanna deal with her, God, I'ma let you handle that. But Lord, forgive her, but she know not what she was doing and she didn't know who she was fucking with. This Adam, God. And First Day Bank, don't even worry about putting your name on shit in heaven. Cause we don't even want to hear you hear about nothing you got or was or nothing. First Day Bank. You know what I'm saying? And you too, Navy Federal, you let her fuck over me too. And whoever she had in there getting an account the same time I was getting mine. And with her eyes and everything, looking back at him the whole time. Then I seen him at a house right around the corner from the house when we was on the way home. I said, damn, that's the same nigga was in that bank getting that account on my shit with that goddamn woman. Shit. So y'all keep her away from me. And keep her away from my kids, God. Don't even let her around my kid. Now hey, my kid. The older kids wanna be around. Me. So be it. You know what I'm saying? Just don't let that infection come around these grandkids. We don't need no devil in none of these kids. And God forgive them for calling him Lolo. Because that's all she wants to do is bring his family down to the lowest. Like Lalo killed himself over a woman cheating on him. Left him for somebody. Then her and her boyfriend came to the wake, to the boy funeral, and wanted to start a fight with Lalo's sister and little brother because they had got the gold ring and the gold necklace he had. And that's why I went through what I did to bring Lalo back. And anybody else had family problems with cheating people. And I think we squashed that. Lord forgive them for all of us didn't know what we was doing. Messing over God. So, ain't no more low, low shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no low, low. Uh uh. Ain't nobody gonna, that boy ain't gonna never be low. That boy Prince. Like Jakai. Like Rowan. Like James. And yeah, they white. And James got gold, blue and green eyes. Black preacher. How the hell are you gonna say it's DNA? Tell who could be Jesus or not. Shit, I'm a black man. Adam and I got my daughters had kids by white men Caucasian so my grandkids are the seed of they daddy Caucasian and I'm still a black God and Jesus <laughs> so that make them a Caucasian slash black you know what I'm saying Jesus just like I am. I'm not Caucasian, but I am Caucasian. Because my grandmother's name, Isabella Dance, my grandfather bought her. She was a slave owner's daughter. And he bought her from him, from the Dance family. And she was white at the time. Well, she was half, you know, half black. I mean, she was white at the time because her daddy was white. The seed was what. So Rowan told me in 2015 in the parking lot of Philip with Charlie Brown that they stole the land from. When I told Pop I was gonna get him his shit back, Rowan said he was gonna make us black again. And that was grandmother Isabella Dance talking through Rowan. So his mama black. We damn sure black again. And his daddy, Caucasian. And we damn show sure Caucasian again. <laughs> Shit. But me, I, I still show the brown. Because everybody need be. Ha ha, brown ass nigga. Yeah. Somebody could uh, be bleeding. There's no peace here. Somebody wants peace. Somebody thought something was going to be more peaceful than hell. We got peace now, man. Like, I'm in peace now. I thank you. I thank you, everybody.
about refusing. I think y'all shit. I ain't need to eat. If I ain't got my own shit, my own house, my own icebox, I do not need to be sitting up here playing games with no motherfucking devil. I need to have my own shit. That's what my dog was doing, making me fight for my own shit. Get the fuck out of here and get my own shit. They come busy to do what they want. Damn. Waking my ass up. We're not overdoing people. You know, you just love alcohol, people so much to let them use you. Addiction, overindulgence. Don't need to be no Pick your poison. You know this saying? person could be dealing with some kind of lung issue, heart issue, organ issue, blood issue. This is somebody that was mixing potions. This is someone that was very much so addicted. We have leech in reverse. This person, it's like something that what is karmic. Baby. They are looking for help. And people are refusing to help them. Somebody could actually have a drug overview, uh, overdose. There could be an alcoholic who go, ends up going to the ICU. Somebody could get alcohol poisoning here. Somebody, whoever this karmic beggar is, this person needs help. They can't leech off of somebody anymore. They can't leech off of you to get peace. Divine Feminine, we have Leech in reverse, we have Peace Upright, and we have Psalms 91, verse 78. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not harm you. Your eyes will see the wicked punished. Somebody is trying to hide that they are being punished. This is someone that was leeching off of your energy in some way, shape, or form. This Divine Masculine. You know, the only problem I see, you know what I'm saying, is we ain't got nobody that want to be charitable. We ain't got nobody that want to be service of the kingdom of God. We don't want, you know, Jesus came as a servant. God came, Adam came as a servant. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that's all I was as a welder is a servant. I really didn't get paid out there. I got paid, yeah, I was three, four thousand dollars sometimes, you know what I'm saying, a week. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't all the time. That's when they were paying me the double time. But then when they took it back in 2007, I was just a time and a half, regular paid dude. You know what I'm saying? Making twelve and sixteen hundred dollars instead of three and four thousand I'll making twelve and sixteen hundred a week when Ron not Ron yeah Ron Paul too but James Reynolds and Joe Vardell and John Vaslavic and Ernie Ramirez claim all crafts was going back time and a half but then when I brought it up to Gilbert in 2021 I said, man, remember when they took away our double time and give us what? I don't remember ever getting my double time taken away. And I just worked with John them. Ah, lying ass. 2007, they stole my shit. Made me regular pay. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, took my double time. Gave me time and a half. I used to say shit about it when I would preach on the, on the recorder. I would say shit about it, you know, and tell John them that they was gonna get my money back, you know what I'm saying? And that they owed me. What I had came up with, my little table I had came up with, I wanted Philip 66 and Dow Chemical to just pay me. I was gonna be fair with them. I wasn't gonna take everything they had, take their whole company, which is yours, Adam. This God, I swear to God, the whole company is yours. Dow Chemical, Phillips, every, everything in this nation, your shit. Because you the add a motherfucking breed to stay alive. And you the eternal life. You the Adam, A-T-O-M, and the A-D-A-M that gave them life and made them love. Because God is love. And I ain't going to take that back. Because I got little children come sit in my lap and love me. You know what I'm saying? And you know, the grown up, when they get grown, I can't help it if they turn to the devil. You know what I'm saying? And, and have stuff against me. I can't help that. But as baby, when they come in the world, they're my little ones. So when you strike me, the shepherd, or when I strike the shepherds out there, you know what I'm saying? The sheep get scattered. All the sons and daughters get scattered. The third and fourth generation of them that hate me. 
is God. They scatter. But the little ones, the little grandkids, the great grandkids, and they the kids and kids and kids that ain't came yet, unborn children, that's ancestors, when they die and then come back to be parents again, be, you know, kids again to new parents, new heavens. When we come back like that, yeah, Nicodemus, you come back to your mother's womb again, but it's a different mother, not the same one you had before. You know, you won't, that won't be your son. And you won't be, you know, that daughter of this. You'll be totally different people. Some of y'all be black, some of y'all be white, some of y'all be Mexican, some of y'all be Chinese, Japanese. You know what I'm saying? But you have a totally different family. When you're born again, but somebody gonna eat fish, eat meat, eat pie, and form a seed within their belly, within their hormones. When that seed form in that man, and the woman, her eggs, and they fertilize, make love, and get fertile, then like. That's waste. Fertilizer is waste. And when food is processed and the waste go out your ass, some of it form you. Because it's fertilizer. Making a seed. And that seed get placed, shot to the woman, planted. And then Mother Nature, the womb of the woman, become an egg. The egg white. That's why I wouldn't call Easter pagan. And anybody who do don't know God. Because Jesus the yoke. Take my yoke. My yoke is easy. I'm the seed of the woman's egg white. In mother's nature. The womb of the seed. The womb of the semen. The fetus. Womb of the woman, the egg. So the seed is the yolk. And mother's nature, the oxygen, the water, the spirit is the egg white. Mother's nature. You know what I'm saying? And that's Easter, what we represent. And I wouldn't get mad at Christmas. Because all Christmas is, is Christ Mass. And I told y'all, you know, I said, I ain't coming back till you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And then I told you, Christ Mass, you know what I'm saying, is those that are Christ at my coming. I gather all my jewels and all my jewels are Christians. Christ. That's say this is Jesus and not lying to me saying I'm in the name of when you really supposed to be through the name of Adam because Jesus said Holy Father keep them through your name them that you have given me so they may be one as we are. That's how you got in Adam's name. I picked you up. <laughs> Shit. When y'all scattered the sheep, kill Jesus, kill Adam, you struck the shepherd. When you scattered the sheep and scattered the stars yourself. And when you scattered the stars, GPS had to keep up with them. And they trucked, had to keep up with them. GPS and own star. That's how we keep up y'all star. GPS and own star. Your truck a star that float around and you in the truck is a star that float around. You know, everything covered, man. And what y'all mean for evil, we mean for good. This God. So, you, know, you want to be godly, Take care of home and honor your mother and father and everything. And you're going to get what you need. Uh, 
get what you want, keep what you got, and you're going to have what you need, got what you need. You know what I'm saying? That's what I see. It. And I ain't come with no money to give. You know, I can give you a little allowance. You know what I'm saying? Say, I give you $6,000, like I said last month. You know what I'm saying? And then just go on and give that 2024 gazillion dollars. So you won't ever say you ain't got no money, you broke. And don't nobody take money. It'll just be numbers on a card. That's all. You, you, you ain't going to have no paper. You ain't going to have no coins. We don't even fuck with that shit no more. It's just paper. And digital. All you do is just know you got money. And you don't even have to use it. You know what I'm saying? Just swipe the card and don't nothing even get taken off. Because heaven pick up the charge. And God's charge card is God paying for everything. And heaven paying for everything. All I want y'all to do is be a servant. To God, not Adam Troy, cause I don't want you to be envious or jealous or blaspheme yourself and get kicked out of heaven and die forever. Cause I ain't bring you back out there next time. I ain't no doing like TJ. The second time I, I I got by, I snuck in, or however you said it. But it won't happen like that this time, cause you a criminal, TJ. This the FBI and everybody. We see you, you and Dog Chemical and all y'all ain't number three. So man, hey, I'm gonna get off this thing, man. I'm talking to y'all, they love, love y'all, man. Like I say, Lord forgive them, for they know not what they do, but Ford Motors, hey, I want y'all to build that truck for them. In the housing department, I'm going to be calling around for me a house in a couple of days. And I need to get that truck ordered. I want a 450 to come before y'all make the 650. You know, so I can get the 450 and be riding until, cause I need to pick my grandsons off of school, man. And I need to have a place to stay for them to come visit. I'm gonna get off this thing, man. And I'm gonna talk to y'all later and pick. That's my new banks. I need me an unlimited charge card. That way I can send money here and there and put it on my cash app if I need to and deal with the people I deal with. Plus, go in any store and just receive the inheritance that I gave everybody as Adam divided his inheritance. So that's everything, man. You have inherited all things. Ain't no money to you. They tell me, where my money? Where my money? We ain't come to raise the dead. Shit. Ain't no money. But the unlimited charge card is whatever you want to pay for. That still disobey God and buy and sell and put a price tag, the mark of the beast on that shit. If you got a price tag on your shit, you curse with a curse and ass soon gonna cut off on your ass. And I'm gonna forget I ever loved you because you didn't love us and you kept charging us ungodly when God gave us our inheritance last time. So kiss my ass, all y'all that tell me to kiss yours. And I love you to all y'all that love me, this God. Adam Detroit Jackson.